Hey guys, welcome to this lesson on how to find averages from frequency tables. We'll be looking at how to find the median, how to find the mode, and how to find the estimated mean. And we will also be looking at an example where you do all of this on grouped frequency tables. So stay tuned. All right, so we are going to do two questions in this lesson. One pretty normal frequency table, and the other one, a grouped frequency table. Now before we begin, I'll just give some context to both these tables. Uh, this is the number of sports that people play. So here you've got four people that play uh, four different types of sports, eight people that don't play any sports at all. And on this group data, this one looks at the height of plants. Uh, there are nine plants which are between the heights of 180 centimeters to 200 centimeters. Now it doesn't really um, matter too much about the context unless the question says to give some sort of um, commentary based on your findings. Um, but the mechanics of these questions is what we are going to focus on. How to find the mean, how to find the median, so on and so forth. Now to begin with this one, we want to find the mode. The mode is the most common number. So what is the most common number? What is the most common amount of sports played? So you can see here, 17 comes up the most here. So often students make the mistake of saying 17 is the mode, but 17 is not the mode. The mode is two. Two sports played is the mode. So we can write here two for that one. Now we're just gonna quickly skip median and mean just for now and just quickly explain what the range is. So the range is the highest take away the lowest. But if you have a look at this uh, set of data, the highest is not five because zero people actually played five sports or more. So we have to go for the next highest, which is four. Four people played that, so four take away um, zero. So therefore, the range would be four minus zero, which is four. So that's the range. Now, let's focus on what this lesson is gonna be focusing on, which is median and finding the mean. Let's start with the median. Now, for the median, you need an extra column. And this column is called a CF column. Sorry about my uh, presentation here. So we're just going to call this CF and just extend these out. Okay. Now, what is the CF? The CF is cumulative frequency. What we want to do is we want to add the frequencies as we go along. So we have the first one, which is eight. The frequency is eight. And then we add the 15. So eight plus 15, which gives us 23. Then we add the next frequency, which is 23 plus 17, and that gives us 40. Then we add the 6, which gives us 46, plus the 4, which is 50, and obviously there's 0 here, so it's 50. So once again, the cumulative frequency is where you add all the frequencies as you go along, and then you build this up. So now, to find the median, what we are going to do is we're going to do 50, and we add 1, and we divide by 2, okay? So that gives us 51 divided by 2, and that is 25.5. Now, it's a 25.5 value that we are looking for. And if you go into your cumulative frequency, you have to find where the 25.5 value is. So here, you can see that you've got the first eight values, here you've got the first 23 values. Here you've got the first 40 values because that column right there includes 8, 15, and 17. That's why you are adding up the frequencies. And this has got the first 46, and this has got all 50 in there. And obviously this has as well. So where is the 25th value? Well, it's not going to be in there because that only goes up to the first 8 values. It's not there because this goes to the first 23 values. It is in here. So the median is in here, which means you go across and read and you say the number of sports. So the median is two. So two sports played is the median. Hopefully you've understood that. When I repeat this on the group data, you'll hopefully understand the process a lot better. Let's now move on to finding the mean. I'm gonna delete all of this so that we have a clear working space. So for the mean, what we do is we once again extend our column. So here. And we write an F and an X. And what that means is F is referring to the frequency and X 
is referring to the number of sports or whatever the values are in here. And what we are simply wanting to do is multiply the F and the X. So in the first example, it would be 8, which is the F, the frequency, times by 0. So it would be 8 times 0, which gives us 0. Then it would be 15 times 1. So 15 times 1, which is 15. Then it would be 17 times 2. 17 is the frequency, F. X is our value 2. So 17 times 2, which is 34. Next, 3 times, or 6 times 3, 6 times 3, 18, 4 times 4 is 16, and here it's just simply 0 times 5, so 0 times 5, which is 0. Now, the formula for the mean, the mean is equal to the sum of the fx divided by the sum of f. Now, what the sum means is the total of the fx. This total of the fx. The sum here means the total of the frequencies. So you add all of this up and you add all of this up and then you divide this one by that one and you will have your mean. So go grab those calculators. Right, so we've just totaled this up and we've got 83 there and the frequency, which is also taken from there really, is 50. So it's 83 divided by 50. If you put that into your calculator, so 83 divided by 50, and you get the mean, which is 1.66, and it's already rounded appropriately to two decimal places, uh, but you can write 2dp if you want to as well, although you haven't actually had to round anything, because it gives you exactly 1.66. And that is the mean, so 1.66. Hopefully you've understood that. Let's now go and do this on group data. Okay, so to start with, we are going to find the mode, but remember it says modal value. Once again, what we are looking for is the highest number in the frequency. So in this case, it's 19, but we write this. So the modal value is in the class interval, 170, 280. Simple as that. Next, let's go find that range. Uh, so we'll just skip these two for now. So the range is the highest, take away the lowest. Now in here, we've got everything uh, filled in. There is no zero like we had here. So we don't have to ignore the five here. So the highest value that we can have potentially, potentially is 200. 200, I mean, one of those nines could be 200. Okay, or all of those nines could be 200, right? So 200 is the highest that we could have. Take away the lowest that we can have is at least 140. Okay, so we do 200, take away 140, so that gives us 60. So in this question, the range, the value for the range is 60. Now let's go and focus on the median and the mean. All right, so once again, we're going to start by finding the median. What do we do? Like before, we do that CF column. So we're going to open up a, another one here, and we are going to work out the cumulative frequency. All right, so let's add the cumulative frequency. So once again, seven goes in here, add the next one, which is 17. 17 plus 15 is 32, uh, 32 plus 19. You can do this on your calculator as well. 32 plus 19 is uh, 51, and 51 plus nine is 60. So there we have it, we've done our cumulative frequency. So just like before, we to find the median, we are going to do n plus 1 divided by 2. And n in this case, so you might see this uh, in some textbooks, uh, n is our 60, okay? So 60 plus 1 divided by 2. So 60 plus 1 is 61. 61 divided by 2 is 30.5. So we are looking for the 30.5 value. So where is 30.5 value? It's not in here because this has the first seven, this has the first 17, it's going to be in here because this contains the first 32 values. So what do we say is the class interval for the median? We say 160 to 170. So 160 to 170 is our median. Now, let's go and find the estimated mean. So once again, I'm gonna delete all this. I'm gonna get rid of all that because we want the working space. Okay, so what did we do before? Let's remind ourselves. We had a column called Fx. 
okay? We had an FX column that we did earlier. So we are going to do an FX. However, there is a slight issue right now. And I'm gonna tell you why. You probably have worked it out yourselves. So if you have, well done. But I'm just gonna quickly do that. Apologies for my neatness or lack of it. So there we are. Right, so we're gonna have an FX column. However, this time there's a problem. When we multiply the frequency, what do we multiply it with? Do we multiply it with the 140 or the 150? When we multiply this 10, what do we multiply it with? The 150 or the 160? You see, because we don't have a clear value, what we are going to do is go in the middle of these numbers. So that is what we are gonna call our X value, the midpoint. We are going to find the midpoint of our class interval, each of them. So this one is 140 to 150, so the midpoint is gonna be 145. This one 150 to 165, the midpoint's gonna be 155. This is gonna be 165. This is gonna be 175. But be careful, don't just make assumptions. Look at this one. This is 180 to 200, so therefore the midpoint is gonna be 190. Once you've done that, found the midpoint, so if you have to find midpoint for group data, that's the only difference between that one and this one. So once you found the midpoint, now you can multiply the frequency with our X value here. So it's gonna be seven times 145. So seven times 145, this is gonna be 10 times 155. This is gonna be 15 times 165. This is gonna be 19 times 175. And this is gonna be nine times 190. Now, of course, you're gonna to have to use your calculators for these large values. So I'm gonna just get mine. Right, so I've just calculated those separately. So 1015, uh, you can see hopefully um, at home. And now I'm gonna calculate the total, the sum of the f of x, all right? So I'm gonna add that, plus that, plus that, plus that, plus that, and write down the total here. So 10075, so 10,075. And the sum of the frequency, um, it's gonna be the same as this, so you don't really have to add it because uh, you've done it earlier. And now we can just calculate our mean. So our estimated mean will be, so estimated mean will be the sum of f of x divided by the sum of f. So let's just plug those values in. That's 10,075 divided by 60. And on our calculators, 10,075 divided by 60 gives us a mean, an estimated mean of 167.9 to one decimal place. And that is the answer for our estimated mean. So just to recap, uh, our modal value was 170 to 180. Our class interval for the median was 160 to 170. Uh, our range was 60. And our mean was a value that we were able to point to, which is 167.9. So it's like more pointing to a specific value. And that's one of the advantages of having this mean. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. You've seen two different examples of how to find averages from frequency table, including one which is grouped frequency table. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please support the channel by subscribing and having those bell notifications on. It supports us and it lets us know that you are there watching and waiting for new content, which motivates us to keep filming like this. Anyhow guys, see you in the next one. Bye for now.